being on a boat, out on the water, doing science in real time. The second those samples hit the deck, you have to go, especially for what we do. This radium is decaying, you know. Oh yeah, here we got gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're studying water column dynamics. So we have these hydrothermal vent systems and they're pushing this really hot nutrient-rich water up into the surrounding water column. And so then that's where we're just like, where is this stuff going, you know? We've developed a really clever way to track the hydrothermal plumes through the system because they're invisible. They have a heat signature, but it's really hard to keep track of it. So we use naturally occurring radionuclides that are produced and discharged with the hydrothermal fluid as a tracer of the hydrothermal fluid so we can track its distance. There was this shipping disaster many, many, many years ago, and all of these rubber ducks tipped over into the ocean, and they just disseminated through the world's oceans, and these, and people are still finding these ducks on beaches around the world. And it was, you know, horrible in terms of pollution, but it was really helpful. It sort of get an understanding about some of these geostrophic flows and different eddies and currents and, uh, you know, time scales. How long it took these different rubber duckies washed up on different beaches. So like those rubber ducks, we use this naturally occurring radium to track these water systems. This is here. It's natural. It's coming out of the earth. It's not something that humans are doing. It's there already. And all we have to do is just sort of tap into it and measure it and track it. And it's really cool that we can. One of the biggest issues when you're, you're working at sea is you collect all these samples, but sometimes you're not quite sure if you're hitting the right spot. We can give that information to the biologists and they can go, okay, so this is what this plume is doing. This is where this water is going. Let's pair it to iron and see you know, what's happening to the iron in the water. Let's pair it to the magnesium. Let's see what's going on there. Carbon dioxide, the sulfur, the methane. The stuff that people really do care about, like the microbes, you know? We have no idea what kind of antibiotics that come out of the different microbes at the bottom of the ocean. We're all here because we love it. You know, we love being at sea and we love the idea of being able to do science at the source. It's absolutely incredible.